we go. Hey, what up, everybody? I'm Compton EMT, and this is actually our first time on video talking about the power rankings. So we've done one power rankings already. This is our second one, but uh, Sweets and I sat down yesterday on Saturday, discussed all of the tournaments that had happened in the past two weeks. So we actually have a list of players that... Uh, We've ranked from 1 to 10, and a couple that we see on the bubble. So, first up, we have XG Sweet. Obviously, Sweets was part of making this list, but he is kind of the number one out over the past two weeks. He was number one in our last list as well, but uh, it's mainly because he's won the most tournaments. Uh, he can beat anyone on the list, and uh, he only didn't win two tournaments. So, um, he was second place in those as well. Number two on our list is going to be Lashman. Uh, Lashman's actually sitting in the chat while I do this right now. Uh, Lash played in two tournaments. He took second and won in one another. In the tournament he won, he actually came from the loser's bracket and ended up double dipping or bracket resetting and beating Sweets. And the, the very interesting part about that is he beat Sweets six games to two when you count the two best of fives. Uh, he can pretty much beat anyone on this list as well, but he falls just below Sweets just because Sweets was number one before on the list and Sweets has still won more tournaments this past two weeks than he has. Third after him though is going to be uh, Foe. So you might not know Foe, he, he goes by Foe, but he's actually DG Farb. So, um, one thing about Foe is he's, he's very consistent in his play and where he gets to. He always gets pretty far in tournaments. He has, you know, some problems beating upper echelon players like Sweets, Lash, um, you know, Long Dong, people like that. So, I mean, he definitely takes a number three underneath Sweets and Lash for our power rankings this week. Just because he literally can beat everybody on the list, but... It's kind of one of those things that he has problems beating the very top players like Sweets and Lash at this point. So our next three, four, five, and six, they um, it's kind of hard. So I like to refer to things as like camps or stables here in uh, Dis Jam, just because it's kind of you know closer to that kind of realm. So I call this because I I know Jambi was very active in the. Uh, Dish Jam community before the big uptick in players. Uh, Phi and uh, Particle Man, Phyrexes and Particle Man are the other two players in that Jambi camp. And the only reason I'm calling it the Jambi camp is because I've known Jambi being around here for longer, being more active. So in that Jambi camp, those three guys, we had a real hard time kind of putting them in place. Because it's kind of like a rock, paper, scissors thing. One beats the other, that other one beats the third, and the third beats the first one most of the time from what we could see from these standings. But what we really kind of did was went down and did one to one who won the most games versus each other and who actually got further in the tournaments. And with that, we actually placed Jambi at number four because he kind of had the uptick there. Right behind him is Particle Man. And Particle Man making a huge, huge presence this week. And he did win a tournament. And he plays second in, I believe, two more tournaments. So that's why he actually goes above Phyrexius, is just his his overall performance of winning and placing in tournaments. Phyrexius, though, don't count him out. He is number six on our list and the third of those three guys. But he's definitely a powerful player. You know, I know that not in a tournament, he actually beat Sweets as well on kind of an exhibition match. So there is that, you know... It, so those three guys, Particle or Jambi at four, Particle Man at five, and Phyrexius at six. All right, so here comes the elephant in the room. Where do I stand? And I want, I really wanted to put myself lower. Sweets and I really couldn't find a way to put myself lower. So I actually come in at number seven. So the reason that I come in at number seven, I've only played in two tournaments. I placed four in both. Um, I did beat Particle Man in one. I beat Foe, who's higher on this list than me. So two people higher on the list I did beat in tournaments. Um, it's just kind of a, a consistency. I mean, in the very in the very few tournaments I played, I did place in the top four. Granted, it was four on both. Um, and yeah, it's just you know I beat some. I beat Kerr. Kerr is another 
top player, granted he is EU, but just beating the top players is kind of what Sweets personally thought um, put me up there. And an exact quote from uh, Sweets, Rising Star is being weighted slightly lower for its lack of some top players, but it was still tough. That's the exact quote from Sweets. All right, so moving on for me, I don't want to talk about myself anymore because I, I don't like being that high. Um, behind me, we actually have Zethan. So Z dropped out of both of his out of the winners part of the bracket in both tournaments he played, but made run in losers bracket in the two that uh, he did play in. So he beat a couple of people as well. That's why we think he deserves kind of that number eight spot on our list because you know he may go out early because he gets bad luck on draws and getting tough players you know, right at the beginning. But when he gets in that loser's bracket, he continually moves forward and gets pretty far in those loser's brackets. Lastly for us, and this was kind of a hard one to put in, we have a couple of players that could probably sit in this spot as well. Uh, it's not the last one, actually. It's number nine. Is Stick. So the thing about Stick, when we were looking at the tournaments, we're like, wow, he lost to, like, AW? Or he lost to... You know, he lost some people. Well, that that's the thing. Stick is either on on top of it or he's off. You know, he's either a great middling player or he's just falling off the face of the earth. And that's what we noticed. He played in four tournaments. In, you know, two of the tournaments he played in, I mean, he ran he ran the the bracket, the lower the losers part of the bracket. He even be, he even beat Particle Man one time, who's higher up on the list than he is by quite a bit. The other two tournaments, I mean, he went respectively 0-2 and 1-2. And and so that's really why he's in that ninth spot for us. He needs improvement, but I mean, it's there. The, the talent is there. He just has to unlock it. All right, so number 10, you know, we saw a lot of people drop on this list, drop off this list, because they didn't play in any tournaments. But we did leave one person on. So the people we dropped off were guys like uh, Prim and um, Meller and Air194 and Skullpool. Um, the guy we did not drop off was Chicken Boo. And the reason we didn't drop Chicken Boo off is because while he hadn't played in tournaments, he's one of the other only players that we've seen besides maybe Skullpool who actually ranked below him. Um, Chicken Boo's the only one that's actually been actively playing the game as opposed to the other people we dropped off. So we felt that leaving at least one person on, and Chicken Boo was number three last week. So moving him from three to ten, if he doesn't play next week, then um, he'll definitely get dropped off, or the next two weeks, he'll definitely get dropped off the power rankings. But we didn't warrant that, since he's still playing, didn't have time to be in the tournaments, that dropping him from three to nothing was kind of a kind of a big stretch. So that is our top ten. It's Sweets for one, Lash for two, Foe for three, Jambi four, Particle Man five, Phyrexia six, myself Compton EMT at seven, Zethan at eight, Stick at nine, Chicken Boo at 10 but that's not all we have for you so there's there's a couple of players that we were noticing things about them either you know the they might not have performed to get on the list. They're still there. They're talented players. Or maybe we didn't have enough information on them. So, uh, Hovington or Javington, however you want to say his name personally, um, he, he's an intriguing one to us. He's done okay in tournaments. We don't think he's good enough to get up there. Plus, we don't have a lot of uh, you know stuff on him. Hunted. Hunted is our other on the bubble. Another on the bubble character. Um, and he actually has come up a lot in the past two weeks. He, I don't believe he's landed in the top four or top five, but he's gotten insanely better. So definitely watch out for Hunted. He's on the bubble. He's up and coming. We'll, we're definitely looking forward to see what we get out of him. And lastly on, our, on the bubble is uh, Holy Elf. So I believe Holy Elf only played in two tournaments, if I remember correctly, and... I mean, he got knocked off by some pretty strong people. I think in the uh, the up and comers format, the Rising Stars. I think he took he got me in round one, and then I think he got Particle Man like shortly after that in the losers bracket. Like, I think I think I dropped Particle Man down, and Particle Man beat him that round that first round. Particle Man was in. So Holy Elf, not a lot on him to see, but. Um, 
We thought he, you know, deserved to be on the bumble, bubble. He's definitely a new up and coming player, much like Hunted, but we don't have enough on him to really put him in the rankings at this point. So yeah, guys, that is our top 10 listing right now our power rankings for this past two weeks definitely you know hit the comments on reddit because this is going to get posted on reddit in a uh, in a text form but hit the comments tell us who you think should be in there who you should think should be off the list things like that and we'll definitely you know take the, all that stuff into account when we hit the new power rankings in two weeks Speaking of the power rankings in two weeks, there's some stuff going up on behind the scenes in the community. So you might see one or two people maybe added to this group besides Sweets and myself. And there might be a little bit of formatting changes. But uh, we're getting we're getting kind of in that gear for release and for a huge jump in player base and more competitors. So definitely look forward for what's coming out from a bunch of the community members. And yeah, watch all your streams. And Jam Fam, thanks for watching this. Happy jamming. See ya in two weeks.